Have you ever wondered what it would be like to access the brains of your Suron? In this video, that's exactly what I'll be doing by installing the first true power upgrade for my Suron, the TC500 controller by Torp Motors. They sent out their latest controller to the channel for an installation video and an overview of its features for stock Surons. So stick around till after the installation and I'll show you all the features and take it for a test ride. A couple things to note is that everything you need comes in the box, and it's designed to work seamlessly with stock Surons and Segway X260s. There's no complicated wiring or soldering required. This is a plug and play setup. Now let's dive into the installation of the TC500 controller. First, remove the stock Suron controller by taking off the horn cover. Then go ahead and go all around the stock controller and unscrew all of its fastening bolts Now loosen and open your skid plate to access the phase wires. Continue on and remove the two side frame bolts. This will allow the breaker to move freely and make room for all the new wiring. Now you can start disconnecting the stock controller starting with its connectors. Next you can move on to disconnecting all the phase wires. Once that's complete, move on to removing the stock controller's brackets to make way for the TC500 controller. To install the TC500, use the provided bolts that it comes with to mount it to the top mounting holes. Now you can move on to properly installing each phase wire to the correct terminal. If this isn't done properly, you run the risk of damaging your Suron. The red wire is the positive, so make sure the red goes to the positive terminal. And the same goes for the black. It's negative, make sure it goes to the right negative terminal. Once all the phase wires are connected, go back through and tighten each bolt. From this point on, now we're working backwards. Go ahead and reinstall your skid plate. Now here's a crucial tip. When it comes to connecting the TC500, make sure you hear an audible click sound when connecting the connectors, especially the main one. A secure connection is vital to prevent any dirt or moisture from causing damage. Now this part of the installation is optional. Torp Motors also sent out their custom display to install and show you. This display offers real-time tracking of your controller and battery data, a convenient alternative to using your smartphone while riding. If you decide to get this display, ensure your firmware is at a version 1.4 or higher for it to function properly. Updating your display and the controller is super easy through the app all you have to do is go to the fifth screen in the Torp app and select Update Firmware. Once you're updated, remember to recalibrate your throttle and hall sensors, which is super easy and explanatory in the app. 
With this app, you can fine tune settings like your brake regen levels, motor current, battery current, and acceleration curves for a more responsive ride. You can create your personalized sport and eco modes effortlessly. All right, now I'm here on my official first ride and first impressions with the TC500 Torp controller. And I can tell you right now, there is a huge difference from stock. This thing is so much faster. Yeah, so what's really cool about upgrading the controller on your Suron is that it basically accesses the brains of your Suron, like I said in the beginning of the video, and it allows you to tweak every single aspect of your bike. So yeah, like I was saying, now with this controller and a controller upgrade in general, you can customize your sport and eco mode exactly how you want it. You can increase your battery regen level. You can set your top speed. With the controller, you can tell your bike exactly how to communicate with itself. And this controller is designed to work with stock controllers, like I said. So my Suron is a stock 60 volt, 34 amp battery. And it is definitely a different beast. It is so much faster than it was. Yeah, so with the app, you can tweak literally everything. Like I said, you can tweak your throttle settings and get a smoother or more aggressive throttle response. You can change your throttle curve as well and you can even adjust your dead zone, which is a really, really key feature with this. And it's awesome. I do plan on doing a review and like a range test on this thing. So if you guys wanna see that video, leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more power upgrades coming for the Suron in the near future. Another cool thing about this controller is that through the app, Everything is adjustable on the fly. I have the app open right here and I can tweak each setting while I'm riding and it changes it live in real time. I also really like the torque display that they included. It's way better than the stock display. Super clear and bright, bright sunlight like today. And it has all the information that you would want in order to monitor your controller, battery, and motor. It's so sick. So now my eco mode is like a, a junior sport mode. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this one. I was really excited to make this and I'm really happy to finally get the first true power upgrade for my Suron installed. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for the next future video. More Suron upgrades are coming to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.